So would you cut a perfectly good 2008 SRT8 Charger? These Hemi Chargers aren't the regular cars. These are 425 horse, hand-built motors, functional hood scoop, aluminum hood, by the way, it's so cool. Brembo brakes with the aluminum uh, wheel from Alcoa. I mean, would you cut one of these perfectly good to make a Smith Ute, to make a truck out of it? Look at the interior. You got the special seats. All the little SRT insignia, leather. This one's got perfect, a perfect setup to make it into a Smith Ute. And the reason for that is this is a very rare car and that it doesn't have a sunroof. For retail sales, you want a sunroof, you want to sell the car. These are gorgeous cars. They drive great. They've got all these little options. For 2008, it was an amazing car. So would you cut it? Herman, the owner of this car, sent it out here a while ago. And I'll be making two of these next month. And we'll try to put it on our YouTube channel, Smith uh, Performance. And it's real. I mean, it's a question you really got to ask yourself. This is one of the nicest cars we've ever had in here. And even I sit there and I pause and I go, wow. Until I realize that when I was at Roadkill Nights in Detroit, and all the Hemi Chargers and you know, Dodge throws that event, you know, the Roadkill Nights where they drag race on Woodward Avenue. And I'm walking that, that show with, I mean, every car there is 50, 100 grand, right? These are all, you know, SRT, you know, Hellcats, Red Eyes, everything else. And we were there to help Jared Pink and Tavares race a Smith Ute, a truck made from a Dodge Charger where they had been given a Red Eye Hemi and a six-speed manual transmission to put in our kit. So it worked out great. But what I want to share with you guys today is the question I ask is real. Would you cut a perfectly good SRT8, 110,000 miles, this is, a, this is a, a wonderful car. And the answer usually for our customers is a raging yes. And I'll tell you why. You park this car out at Woodward, you know, out at Roadkill Nights with all of the infield cars. Remember, this is Hellcat after Hellcat after Hellcat, wide body after wide body after wide body. And the crowd is walking through the show, right? And everybody's got their hood up. I'll show you the hood of this while I'm talking. I'll show you. SRT8s are great. This is a 425 horse. It's got different heads. It's got a different intake. It's got the cold air system here from the SRT8. Uh, almost everything is different on an SRT8 425 horse motor than is on a standard charger. But you still want to cut it. And the reason is you're walking through Woodward. You're walking down the concourse inside the M1 concourse where all these fancy cars are. And I'm not kidding. We had. Hellcat, 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 Red Eye, Red Eye, Red Eye, all that. And there was one Smith Ute in the back, and there was Jared Pink Smith Ute out in the front with the Red Eye drivetrain that was going to be competing, right? Well, we expect everybody to be around Jared's car with the Hellcat Red Eye. What you wouldn't expect is right next to all these $100,000 gorgeous cars dropped, you know, on air, 700 horsepower, 800 horsepower. And right in the middle of it is a 5.7 standard Hemi, not a Hellcat or anything like that. And it's a white Charger Ute. You know, it's one of our kits and uh, built out in Long Island and in the middle of all these fancy cars, it's probably a fifteen, twenty thousand dollars car, you know, built custom, the the bed and everything. And uh, Jim uh, bat rods out in Long Island builds the car for this customer. He was mobbed. There were 20 or 30 people around him the entire weekend that he showed his car. And I, I can't tell you enough the impact that has when you're walking along. And you see all these, these a, a field of a hundred, hundred thousand plus cars, you know, hundred thousand dollar plus cars, and here he is with his fifteen thousand dollar Smith Ute, the star of the show, right? At least having the most fun of anybody there, because everybody else can buy one on a dealer's lot. He was the only one there that had a car that was actually truly different as far as a stock, you know, floor pan Dodge Charger goes. So with the launch of our new two thousand and eleven to two thousand and twenty Charger. Um, we're going to do two of these. We're going to do three of the 2015, of 115. We've got an 11. We've got a 14. A bunch of videos coming on those builds uh, that are wrapping up while we bring these older chargers in for another batch of builds, uh, you know, this June. So stay tuned and follow along as we cut up a perfectly good SRT8 and make it into something special.